So as for addressing the roster even more, we all know about the hit that the Mets took last week. Mets prospect Ronnie Mauricio suffered a torn ACL during a Dominican Winter League game last week. And ever since then, reports have been linking the Mets to find a replacement. Andy Martino reported that the Mets are not expected to pursue a everyday third base option such as top free agents like Matt Chapman. Mike Puma of the New York Post reported last week that the Mets have had talks with Justin Turner for a possible reunion. As I'm sure all Mets fans know, the Mets let go of Turner back in 2013, and ever since then, he has posted a great career, slashing 293, 371, 486 with a 134 WRC+, and accumulating 35.2 wins above replacement with the Dodgers and Red Sox since leaving the Mets organization. It's also gone on record that Mets president of baseball operations David Stearns tried to trade for Turner back in 2021, but was unsuccessful. Ever since then, Stearns has built a good relationship with the 39-year-old infielder. The Mets have also been linked to 32-year-old third baseman Gio Urshela, whose 2023 season was cut short due to a pelvic fracture after 228 plate appearances with the Angels last season. With Mauricio on the sidelines for an extended period of time, the Mets are expected to give the most of playing time at third base to former top prospect Brett Beatty and newly added utility man Joey Wendell. Although the injury to the young prospect is a big blow, the Mets are still hopeful that Mauricio could possibly return later on during the 2024 season. It really seemed like Ronnie Mauricio was starting to come into his own player in the upper levels of the minor leagues. We saw him struggle a little bit, but then it started to pick it up last season. And he came in, he showed a little bit of promise, he showed off his tools a little bit and now we're not going to see him for a long time with the Mets third base situation I'm really not a fan of Joey Wendell I just don't think that he's that good of a player I understand that he was an all-star two years ago I real that really is not the way that I would evaluate a player whatsoever I have no trust in Brett Beatty I think we all know that I am pretty much on the this anti Beatty train at this point because I see pretty much nothing promising with the guy can't lift the ball, can't pull the ball, his pitch selection is terrible, pitch recognition is not good, and he provides absolutely no defense at third base. If you want somebody to push Beatty, Gio Urshela is the guy to go. If you really believe in Brett Beatty as your third baseman, Gio Urshela is the guy that you could plug in, someone who has also has something to play for, um, and could start in a pinch at third base. He can provide you plus defense at third base, and he could really push a guy like Brett Beatty who has been struggling in the major leagues. But then there's also somebody like Justin Turner who is a little bit older, and you also have those concerns with his injuries in the past year. Um, you know, you can also bring up the curse of, you know, a player comes back to the Mets and he's not that good. He leaves the Mets and he's great. If the Mets were to bring in somebody like Turner, we know that he's not going to be on his feet every single day playing third base. It's not going to be a platoon situation, but it's more going to be Turner for a bat. It's more going to be bringing in Justin Turner for his bat and not really necessarily bringing in Justin Turner for his play as an overall player. I don't think that he's going to be strictly a DH if you were to bring somebody like him in. But if they want to limit the versatility, if they want to just bring in a bat in, bring a bat in. But I know that Stearns really likes his versatility. And I feel like Gio Urshela would be a little bit better of a fit for what Stearns likes and what he wants. But again, there's no denying what Justin Turner has been able to do, but I just don't see that as a third base solution. If you trust Brett Beatty as a third baseman, you probably will lean a little bit towards Turner. If you believe in Beatty, but just don't think that he can have the everyday job, because in my opinion, I don't think that he has earned it whatsoever, you go after a guy like Gio Urshela. If you're looking for tools, Urshela. If you're looking for more of a bat, you go with somebody like Justin Turner but it also will come with more concerns. Both of these guys will have injury concerns. Turner for his age, and then also Gio Urshela, who has really had a lot of injury problems in the past. Gio Urshela can definitely be good if he's fully healthy, and I think that he can give you solid production, whether it's coming off the bench or starting regularly every day at third base. He also could play a little bit around the infield. We know he could be possibly a backup shortstop if you need him to do that. We've seen him play some first base. We've seen him play some second base. I think he can provide you a little bit more of a safer bet of actual actually providing value to the roster as compared to somebody like Justin Turner.
You just don't know if the Mets are comfortable with Beatty and Wendell as their only third base options. You probably have to look at Justin Turner as more of a non-factor at third base. We saw the kind of the key to keeping him healthy last year. He played a little bit of second base for the Boston Red Sox. He DH'd a lot, and that was kind of it. He didn't really play much of third base. Obviously, keep this with a grain of salt because, you know, it's not full-on accurate. You can't really use it as a Bible, but if you looked at to, like, some expected home run numbers, City Field is one of the parks that you look at. It's behind, you know, American Small Park, of course. You know, that's, that's the whole thing. And then there's, like, Houston. And then the Mets are right below there. 28 home runs last year if he were to play in City Field. And that's something that you definitely could look out because the Mets obviously lacking power in this scenario. You know, this could be a threatening bat you can put in. It would not be the only guy that I would go after. I would also go after somebody like Teoscar Hernandez. Jorge Soler has been on my list forever. Jock Peterson. We all know how I feel about those big power bats that could pe protect Alonzo. If you're going after pure offense, Justin Turner is the guy to get. If you're going after trying to push Beatty, if you're going after more tools, more versatility, trying to make the bench a little bit more deeper than it is right now, then I would go with somebody like Gior Shella. Obviously, it's not going to be a full-on sexy pick because they lost Ronnie Mauricio. I think the Mets are going to give a big enough chance to Brett Beatty where he does get a decent sample size, and he's going to be starting pretty much every day at third base. I'm not thrilled with that. I'm not a fan of Beatty. I really have just not liked what I've seen so far with him in the major leagues. I have not really liked what he's just done overall in his career. I think there's a lot that has to change for him to be a successful major leaguer. Joey Wendell, he's not an everyday player on a playoff team. I just don't see him as an everyday player. Brett Beatty has not proven anything. Mark Vientos... I think is a very solid bat, and I think that he will be good. But as a third baseman, I don't want to see that at all. Full-on stone hands worse than Brett Beatty at this point. Um, and Brett Beatty's pretty bad. Both of them cannot play third base. I think that even with Ronnie Mauricio being hurt, or even with Ronnie Mauricio being here, they needed to add another infielder. And they did add that other infielder in Joey Wendell. And I talked about this before on this podcast, saying that the Mets needed to bring in a veteran piece, push these third base prospects, push these infield prospects. Somebody like Gio Urshela. Brett Beatty has not proven anything yet. Ronnie hasn't played that much and he's not going to play for a while. Mark Vientos has not ran away with any job yet. Even though I want to see him play a little bit more first base than third base, the Mets need to bring in somebody that can push them out of there. And guys like Luis Guillorme or guys like Joey Wendell, they're not really going to do that. And, and you know, whether Wendell is a great player for us and whether he does produce, you know, more than I'm expecting to, him to, you think Luis Guillorme was a good player. It just wasn't going to push that type of impact. These bench players are not going to push the impact this you see as the future of this team. Maybe this does give the Mets a chance to do that with Gio Urshela or a guy like Justin Turner, uh, you know, Evan Longoria is also out there. I would not go that direction. I think he's pretty much one foot out the door to retirement. Both Justin Turner and Gio Urshela could definitely make this lineup better. When With the loss of somebody like Ronnie Mauricio, who we expect to be possibly a future piece to this team. Beatty, I see personally as a non-factor. Like I've pretty much given up on him because I just don't see it. He's supposed to be the most seasoned prospect and he just has not been. First round pick pedigree, you know, it, it, you know, it's either you show something or you show out, you know, and he just has not shown that. So if the Mets really want to go after something like this, if they want to go after a backup infielder or somebody that's not full on starting caliber, this is a good direction to go in. Obviously, this is not the only addition I want them to make to the lineup, but I'm fine with either one either way, because I think that it pushes a young player no matter what.